Hey everybody, Ann here. And Papa. Good boy, Papa. Um, just finishing up my coffee and uh, I, I am just kind of like fearful right now. Y'all know my dad's in the hospital and um, the hurricane is working his way up to where my parents live. Luckily, my uh, son is there with them. He flew down from Ohio and he's there um, overseeing things and making sure that everything is okay. He was able to get time off work. Um, so that's good. That's good. He's there in good hands. My son is, um, he's a good boy. Anyhow, um, I've just been watching weather reports. I've tried to go out a couple times and work on the uh, rooster coop and well here's here's what I've done so far I got a couple more pallets up and I did put this thing up <laughs> yeah I think that'll be all right the wood split so I'll eventually have to replace it uh I'm gonna put one of those dowels up there but it's pretty windy out right now and this is all staying up even though it's not 100% secured. You can see that I've got little ropes holding it up here and there. That's going to change. Um, there's going to be some metal brackets and other stuff like that. Um, I do think I wasn't going to line this with chicken wire. But some of the boards are kind of a little bit far apart. So I may, I don't know, I may just line certain boards with uh, chicken wire. I'm not sure. I could just get some more wood and put it up. But you can see some of them are kind of far apart. Um, this one is fine. And I think these will be fine too. But I do have plenty of chicken wire, so, um, and of course, chicken wire is going to go up higher. And just depending on how high I can get it, I mean, I've only got posts this high, but I can extend these posts with um, wood. So, I don't know. I, I just don't know if I'm going to work on this today. Oh, and I just put that there. I might leave it because... That way I won't have to ch put chicken wire from, you know, down there so the roosters can't get out this way. I think that fits just fine and it looks nice. So I think that I'm going to end up taking the yard, maybe just one or two more pallets this way and taking it all the way to the corner of the van. And then that's all covered in chicken wire. But I'm thinking I might just put pallets up there too. Um, just because I don't want the roosters to see the hens and try and get through that fencing down there. Um, so I think the yard is going to be like out to here and that'll give them plenty of room. But, uh, today I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of paralyzed in fear. You know what I'm talking about? So dad was supposed to have a cardiac cath, um, today and... Um, the hospital made a mistake and gave him his blood thinners. I mean, that's hard cath 101. You stop the blood thinners part of the procedure and they didn't do it. So they had to cancel that. And, um, I just received word from my sister that, um, they've, they've discharged him. So he's home. He just wanted to go home and, uh, before the storm hit. And so, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I think I just need to do something to take my mind off of it, but I have no motivation, no motivation at all. But I know that once I get going and doing something, um, I'll feel better. So, uh, they're rescheduling his procedure, um, hopefully for Friday. And, you know, it's just kind of weird because my dad's always been in really, really good health. He, he participates in sports and runs and plays this like racquetball game. Um, it's not racquetball. It's called something else. And I, I can't think of what it is. Um, but then he kind of, and he mentioned this to me and um, it's something to think about. He had 
not had any of these things going on with him, and there's multiple issues, um, until after he got, well, you know, the thing, um, the uh, medical procedure that's supposed to stop something bad from happening. And it's, it's so sad that you have to dance around this issue so that you don't get canceled. But um, so he had the medical thing to stop something from happening. And then he starts having these symptoms, cardiac symptoms. And well, there's one other that's a big one that I'm I'm looking into to see if there's any correlation, but there certainly is correlation between his cardiac issues and the thing that he got. So my mind is just reeling and, you know, me being a nurse, I would just like to wring some people's necks right now, but I just need to put it in God's hands and pray that everything's going to be okay. And I, I have faith that it will all be okay and that my mom is able to make it through this, um, having her grandson there is, is going to be so much better because she's not going to have to go through this all by herself. So, um, I'm just rambling. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have anything noteworthy to share with you for the rest of the day. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.